let us now see how an inductor blocks AC but allows DC. Okay. This AC means it will allow the it will block the AC voltage, that is alternating current, it will allow the DC voltage. Okay. So we know the formula that is XL that is inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi F into L. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay. Now let's take a DC voltage. Okay. And inductive means what it is just a coil of wire. Okay. And then now we send the DC voltage here. DC voltage, DC current voltage here. Yeah. Okay. Now, DC voltage means what direct current from battery. Okay. It does not change. Okay. So, yeah, as it does not change, there is no back EMF here. Okay. So, no back EMF is produced. Okay. So, because no back EMF is produced, there is no inductance also. Okay. And there is no inductive reactance. Okay. So, it will not oppose a DC voltage. DC voltage can pass through easily. Okay. Direct current can pass through easily. But now next way you can see one another way you can explain. Okay, that is for DC voltage. Okay, that is for direct current. It does not change now from cell. Okay, we can't do cell. There is no uh, frequency. The frequency is zero. Okay, see frequency means we saw like waves only now. Okay, number of waves per second, number of oscillations per second. There is no oscillation here. So frequency is zero. Substitute F is equal to zero in this equation. Okay, so in substitute here. Okay. So what we get is XL that will be equal to zero. So there's no inductive reactance. Okay, because there's no inductive reactance, okay, it does not block the DC. Okay, so this is a way reason why an inductor will block the alternating voltage or current, but does not block the DC. Okay, thank you for watching.